All right, guys, what we're going to be doing in this video is shooting a modified qualification course of fire with your carbine. This course of fire covers multiple different things. It'll cover standing, kneeling, and prone. It'll cover speed reloads. It'll cover shooting on the move. It'll cover shooting on the move with multiple targets. And it'll also cover a limited exposure shot, basically giving you two seconds to fire one round, hopefully hitting inside the triangle at 25 yards. So let me go ahead and walk you guys through this target here so how we're going to score it. How we're going to score it here is if you check this chick out, she's got a bowling pin that's, that's on the target. Anything inside this bowling pin is going to count as one point. Anything inside this two box is going to be two points. So inside the big box and inside the triangle is two points. Outside of the triangle, outside of the big box, but inside the bowling pin is going to be one point. Anything on the body? But outside of the bowling point is zero points. You don't get points for hitting her down here. That's not gonna help. So, two points for inside a triangle, two points for the big box. Now, it's a 50 round course of fire, so hopefully you get 100 points. A lot of units use this for a baseline for those guys that can go live in the shoot house. You gotta get 80 or better to go live in the shoot house as a standard for most units. If you start getting good, you get 98, 99, and her big box has just become too easy to hit, then transition to her small box. The small box will be two points, her big box one point. Outside of the big box, but inside the bowling pin is zero points, and anything outside of the triangle is zero points. So if you start getting it good where her big box is too easy, then transition to the small box on these targets. Let's go ahead and head up to the 50 yard line and get this thing started. The first course of fire is done on one target. It's a pair standing, pair kneeling, pair prone. Good. So for the second course of fire, we're going to start from the 50 and we're going to run to the 25. This one is to get our elevated heart rate up a little bit. So it's to get our heart rate going, get us a little uh, breathing heavy once we get down to the 25 yard line for a pair standing and pair kneeling. So the next thing that we're going to be doing here is a stationary drill, so it's one round to the face from the 25 yard line. Now the great thing about this whole qualification course of fire is it covers multiple different things. You just seen you had standing kneeling prone, you had running, sprinting 25 yards. Now directly after the sprinting drill, you have a limited exposure shot, one round to the face in two seconds. Good. All right guys. Next drill is going to be moving from the 25 to the 15, firing two rounds to the chest. So this is a moving drill. So you see we have multiple firing positions at distance. We have running, we have an eliminated exposure shot, and now we have shooting on the move. So the next drill is going to be a moving drill, 25 to the 15, firing two rounds to the chest. Now when you guys are practicing this, you want to start moving before the command threat is called. That way it ensures that all the shooters or moving and they don't try to cheat and shoot from the static position. Good. Next drill is gonna be two rounds to the chest. Two rounds to the chest from the 15 yard line. Now, in one of the earlier videos, we discussed control pairs and hammer pairs. This, from the 15 yard line and in, this is where we like to see those hammered or accelerated pairs. Basically, I gotta drive the side up and pull the trigger as fast as I can while that red dot is high center chest. Good. Shooters, the next drill is going to be a moving drill. This is gonna be 15 to the 10 firing a failure drill. Failure drill is two to the chest, one round to the face. So it's gonna start from the 15. You're gonna start walking. Once you start taking a couple steps, 
you're gonna, uh, the targets are gonna face or your buddy can call the command threat. All these drills are for time. You notice that the targets are turning. They're on a pneumatic computerized system. So this drill is moving from the 15 to the 10, two to the chest, one to the face. Good. The next drill is also going to be a moving drill. It's moving from the 10 to the 5, doing the same drill. 10 to the 5, 2 to the chest, 1 round to the face. Good. All right, guys, we're going to walk back here to the 7. The last drill for this course of fire, because there's two sets, there's two courses of fire. This one is done on one target. The next courses of fire is going to be done on two targets. So this is the last drill for this target. It's going to be seven to the three, firing two to the chest, one to the face. So that is the whole course of fire. Take a look. So <laughs> three out of my four headshots are a little off. I want to get them inside that triangle. And those two, uh, the ones on her lower, her lower chest right there, those are from my moving shots from the 25 to the 15. Now, misses, yes, they still, they each have one point to them. The good thing about this is, even though I was outside the target area, I could call my shots and know which shots I threw because I'm basically following the fundamentals. I'm looking at my sight. My red dot being off, when the shot went off, that told me that I could tell which shots those were. So those bottom two ones, those are from 25 to the 15. I just wasn't using a good solid platform when I was moving. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head back to the 50 and we're going to use the next two targets for the rest of this drill. Okay guys, so for the second part of this qualification course of fire is going to be done on two targets. So the first course, the first drills is all done on one target. Now we're going to be shooting on two targets. For instance, this first drill is a pair standing speed reload pair kneeling. So it's a pair standing on my first target. I'm going to experience bolt lock. My bolt's going to lock back to the rear on an empty magazine. I'm going to have to do a speed reload. I'm doing a speed reload at the same time that I'm taking a knee for economy of motion, right? I'm combining two steps so I'm not adding time. Once I get to the knee, I'm going to fire two rounds to the chest on my second target. So it's a pair standing on my first target, speed reload while taking a knee, pair kneeling on my second target. Good. So let's go ahead up to the 25 yard line and do the next drill. So now that we're at the 25 yard line, the next drill is gonna be 25 to the 15, firing a pair on each. So it's a moving drill like we did in the first course of fire, but it's also a moving drill with multiple targets. So I'm gonna start on the 25 yard line. I'm gonna start to move. Once the targets face, I'm gonna to have to get in that good aggressive forward leaning walking position in order to not throw my rounds, hopefully like I did in the first one. 25 to the 15, pair to the chest on each. I'm gonna fire a stationary pair on each target. So it's a stationary pair on each target from the 15. Good. Next drill is gonna be from the 15 to the 10. So it's moving 15 to the 10, firing a pair on each. Good. Next drill from the 10 yard line is from the 10 yard line, a pair on each target. Good. The last drill is going to be from the 15, or excuse me, from the 10 to the 3, firing a box drill. Now, a box drill is two to the chest on your first target, two to the chest on your second target, headshot on your second target, headshot on your first target. That should get us to slide lock, or to that should get us to bolt lock. So let's see what we do. Good. So at the end there, I experienced uh, bolt lock. 
Bolt lock back to the rear on an empty magazine. So because I was within 25 yards and this qualification course of fire is to get guys to go live inside of a shoot house, within 25 yards you're supposed to transition so that's why I transitioned there at the end. Hope you enjoyed the drills. If you guys can, what you can do is you can break up each segment and you can train at it. This gets you good at different firing positions, it gets you good at shooting on the move, limited exposure shots, multiple threats. Have a good one. If you have any comments, leave them below.